I just got this box delivered to my house and so I'm going to open it up. I know what is inside. I got this um, a clarinet from Jupiter Clarinets and is, it is a Jupiter JCL 1100S Intermediate Wooden uh, B flat clarinet. So let's see what it looks like inside. The box is uh, in good shape. So that's good news. I'm going to open it up, see what I can find. If I can get it open. Nice um, uh, bubble wrap in here. Keep it safe. Remove that. Okay. And here is the uh, box with the Jupiter clarinet in it. I like the way it is shipped. Nice and compact. <laughs> All right, check out this cake, this box here. It's a nice box, nice and sturdy. Okay. It's like Christmas. Kind of cool. Well, look at that. That's kind of cool. So it's in a plastic bag. I'll take this out. Oh my. I like the case. This is cool. I love the case. It's a nice size case. Um, so it is a zippered case. There's an outside zipper, it looks like, with lots of goodies, things in there. Let's see what's on the outside zipper. Um, oh, it comes with a reed, a Van Doren reed. wonder what strength. So let's see what's in here. We have um, owner's manual. Good. We have uh, what strength read? Two and a half strength um, uh, Van Doren uh, Blue Box read. Um, then we have uh, like a quality checklist. That's always good. Um, the codes for this clarinet. All right. Warranty information. Comes with a good warranty. I'll have to read this later and see what the warranty is. Um, if you want to see the code, there's the code for the uh, about the warranty. Awesome. Comes with a, looks like this is a, this doesn't look like a swab. It looks like a silver, um, uh, a silver rag to polish the silver. Okay. So all of that was on the outside. Oh, there's something else. Um, this looks like possibly a neck strap. Let's see what it is. Or a strap for the case. That's probably what this is. Oh, a shoulder strap for the case that you can hook on. There's um, some um, hooks here on the side. All right, so comes with all of that. Great, so backside, nice and sleek. It's kind of lightweight, that's perfect. Um, handles here have nice little um, snaps. Okay. Oh, look at this. So there's a zipper on the outside of the case, a bigger zipper that you can put uh, pencils in here. You could put maybe your swab, your uh, reed case, cork grease, things like that that you'll need. Um, that's awesome. Okay. So the case looks like it's well made too. Okay. So now I'm going to zipper the inside. Oh, okay. So check this out. Uh, it is a like a French style case. So it's a case inside this zipper. Um, so very sleek look to this case. The leather case that this comes in. So, and it just fits right inside. Move my camera down. Fits right inside uh, the outside.
case there. So that's cool. All right. Well, I'm impressed so far. We'll see how it plays. All right. So here's how it looks when I open it up. So everything is bagged individually. All right, silver saver. So this tells me that it has silver keys on it. For a student instrument, that's really important. A lot of times they have um, uh, nickel keys, and so this has silver silver plated keys. So that's that's really a nice bonus. Okay, so let's start getting all the pieces out. I see that the tenons have a silver ring on it. That's that's really nice. Um, makes it last. Uh, longer and protects it, uh, protects those tenons. Okay. Again, the tenons are covered. What else do I see here? I see, ah, there is a, a E flat key on the left. That is amazing. I normally don't see those on uh, student clarinets. Pretty cool. And there is an adjustable screw right here for the FC key. This tends to go uh, out of place a lot on clarinets. So the fact that you can just adjust it with the screw is um, such a big bonus. Again, I don't see that a lot of times on these clarinets. So, all right, let's get the next piece out. Looks nice so far. What is in good shape? What do we have here? So again, the tenons have the silver uh, on the end of them. Oh, this is cool. They have a, um, a raised, the C key, the C, G hole. I don't know if you can see it uh, there, but it is, there's um, a, a raised piece that's on that because a lot of times this is the only hole that finger, the finger has to cover without a key going around it and or a ring going around it. So a lot of times that that's where um, students have a problem um, sealing that, especially if they have smaller hands. Well, that's kind of a neat thing. Yeah, oh, I also see that the thumb, the register key is at an angle. So this is designed to make it fit your hands better. Um, so you can, you can get to the, register key without um, like changing the angle of your of your thumb. Um, I kind of like that, especially for younger students that have smaller hands and can't quite reach everything. This is this is great. So that it will give them really good hand position. All right, so let's keep going. So I saw on their website that they have a custom barrel. Um, all the tenons, I mean, all the uh, tone holes also are, are um, um, have been um, hand um, shaped in there. So they're um, tapered tone holes. Um, all right, barrel looks really nice. And it is a 65 inch barrel, which is what I've played on for many years. It's standard to have a 66, so it's just one millimeter shorter, uh, which is becoming more standard. It gives the, um, the student more, um, space to adjust their pitch also. Okay, so one last piece is the mouthpiece. All right, lots of little plastic bags here. So the mouthpiece comes with a cap, nice cap, all right. Uh, ligature, the ligature is just a standard silver ligature with the screws on the front where the reed is. So a student might want to upgrade to another um, ligature, which is really common. I would, I always have my students upgrade with whatever comes in stock. All right. Don't know anything about the mouthpiece, um, about the design of the mouthpiece, but we'll see. I'm going to play on this clarinet with my, um, with my mouthpiece, with this one, and then with my mouthpiece. All right. I will need cork grease. I'm going to pause and be right back to get some cork grease. All right, so as it turns out, I did not finish going through the whole case. So when I go through the whole case, I see that there's a swab. 
It does come with a swab and it does come with cork grease. So yay. I was going to go get my own cork grease, but here it is. So I'm going to use their cork grease. It is a Jupiter, um, Jupiter cork grease. So we'll see how this one works. Of course, I'm going to have to put a lot of cork grease on because this is a brand new clarinet. Let that in. Okay, that goes on very easily. Nice connection. I put cork grease on the upper uh, joint here. Ah, oh, that went together very well as well. Um, so the um, the bridge key here looks pretty standard. Um, it's easy to line it up. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put a barrel on, and last piece, the mouthpiece. Like I said, I'm gonna try it with their mouthpiece, and then I'm gonna try it with my my own. Okay, awesome. Well, I've got the whole thing together. I'm gonna even try it with their ligature. Pop that on here. I'm gonna grab a mouthpiece patch just so I don't scratch their mouthpiece. All right, looks pretty good. Right away, the response is pretty good. I just was playing open G, good sound. very convenient like the I don't have to um, feel like I'm stretching my hands to reach the keys it just feels really comfortable so I'm thinking a student that has um, smaller hands would really like this especially this um, addition that they made on this tone hall for the CG um, note it, it's it feels really nice that it's raised um, and uh, makes it easier to cover that. Yeah, very nice. So I'm uh, very impressed. Of course, this is with the standard uh, mouthpiece that it comes with and the standard ligature. I'm going to check pitch. See how the pitch is. Well, here we go. could be um, me just getting used to this. By the way, the reed that I have, I think it's a three and a half uh, Van Doren. So I did not play it with the two and a half that, that it came with. 
Or just have to make an adjustment if I play this on with this mouthpiece. So I just felt like I did an even further of a stretch with my embouchure. Ooh, ooh, oh God, and was able to get it in tune, which is the way your mouth should be anyway when you're playing. So um, I don't feel like I have to make any kind of adjustments um, that are uncomfortable um, to to make this play in tune. I think that the tone is really pretty for what I'm um, what I've hear, heard so far. So let's try this the E flat on the left. Yeah, it works really well. I like where it's positioned too. It's not in the way, but um, easy to get to. Yeah, nice. Okay, the action all feels really good on it. It's a it's a little bit tight. Every every new clarinet is um a little bit tight until you uh play on it a little bit, um, but uh, excellent clarinet. Uh, I've seen it for sale right now. It uh, goes for the price of, uh, I think it's $14.99. And um, I'd say it's a great deal. I think it uh, would be a good clarinet for any uh, young clarinet player or even any student that wants to um, play through high school. So I think um, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade. Uh, this would be a really great. Also, if there's any adult that wants to start but doesn't want to invest in a, um, a extremely expensive clarinet, um, I think this is a great product for that. So um, check it out. Again, it's the Jupiter JCL 1100S, and um, sounds really great. I'm gonna. Stop the video and I'm going to get my mouthpiece on and see if there's a difference in the sound. All right, so I'm back. I put my mouthpiece and ligature on here and I'm just curious to see how it plays with this. <clears throat> Again, really easy to blow, really easy to get a great a good full sound. What I like about it is consistent. It's very consistent through the registers. really nice and easy. I don't have to blow harder in certain ranges. Throat tones play really well. Let's hear a B flat. So I'm playing that without any resonant fingerings. Let's see how the B flat plays in tune without anything down. Of course, this is on my mouthpiece as well. So sharp but I can manipulate it and make it play more in tune um, but that's really 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 great so if I put down right hand let's see how that hand sounds yeah that was right in tune so the throat tones are nice and clear especially that B flat sometimes on clarinets it can get real stuffy so I don't hear any stuffiness in there I want to hear from other people. If there's other people out there that own this clarinet, I want to know what you, what you think of it. Thanks for watching. All right, so I was going to end the video and I decided to start uh, that I needed to show a, a few more things and talk about a few more things on this clarinet. So one is that I noticed it has an adjustable thumb rest here. Uh, that's really, really nice to have. 
uh, so that students with smaller hands or, you know, everybody has different hands and needs this thumb rest in different places. So it's um, adjustable here with a hook here for a neck strap. So the description that I saw on like Woodwind Brasswind said that this comes with a neck strap, but I just um, talked to them at uh, Jupiter and uh, they said that uh, they're going to look into that. Why? Because mine did not have a neck strap in it. So, um, but that's something that you can always purchase on your own at a music store. You can get your own kind of neck strap. All right. So, but it also came with a really nice claw, um, uh, silk swab. So I like the swab because it's not too big. It's not uh, so big that it would get stuck in the clarinet sometimes. Um, these are too wide, the ones that come usually. So this is a good size. Um, so yay. Uh, and it's on a nice nylon cloth uh, cord here with a weight on it. So the design of the neck strap, very nice. Um, also, I mentioned that it came with a silver polisher. So here's the silver polisher cloth here. So it's a good size. Um, so that's that's good. So this is pretty standard clarinets that come uh, that are silver keyed um, have that. So it's always good to wipe down your the the clarinet. Um, you don't have to wipe it. I don't usually wipe mine every day, but it's always good to wipe wipe the keys off uh, with this. So um, that's nice that it does come with that. Um, and I think that might be all that I was going to review. I'm going to play on it. Just a little bit more though. So I mentioned like the thumb rest or the, the uh, register key, how it, the shape is different um, to fit hands. Uh, also that like the A key seems like it's conveniently located um, and easy to press. I didn't really talk about the side keys. Let's see how side keys do. Okay, I think that's about it on this clarinet. Um, so I again, I want to hear from other people. If you have this clarinet, uh, I want to know what you think about it. And if anyone else that's interested, reach out to me and I um, will answer your questions. Thanks. Bye.